Hello and welcome, dear Sagittarius, to Cassie's Cosmo Weekly Scopes. I hope you are well this week. There's lots going on for Sagittarians. How did the lunar full moon affect you um, around love affairs or relationships or what's going on with children? It's very much a time of out with the old and in with the new. You know, I feel as if it's bringing something to an achievement or a celebration or to a climax. And I feel as if you're making decisions in your life. But again, as the old Sagittarian trait, I felt very much about work or work situations for you at the moment. More of the energy planet wants you to take action. Um, that won't be too hard to do because I kind of feel here that Sagittarians like the Baba Boom. Lots of Sagittarians are looking for work at the moment or progressing with goals and work. So the next seven weeks that we have Virgo, um, in Mars, it's about career, reputation, fame, a lot of energy driving you towards those work uh, or goal details. Virgo is about details, so you'll be looking at the finer details of things in your life, but being valued, wanting to be paid your worth, wanting to earn more money and finances. Um, looking at a key date of October the 19th, which is today, and again the 31st, important dates. Um, real estate, homes, some of you may be dealing with new homes or houses or situations connected to your property. Um, lots of goal energy, so if you're looking for that job, you're going to achieve it in the next seven weeks. If you're wanting to go up the ladder within work or to improve something, I feel as if it's very much you're going to find that thrive, that energy, that goal at the gym, uh, losing weight, but it very much is about goals for you, but you sort of find in the Vavavoon to make your way back. A lot of people have had ill health and operations. I've never known a time where people have been so well at the moment. Mercury retrograde is in your karmic energy. So things are out of balance in your life, whether it's the relationship, your money, your finances. In some way, it's about redoing and rethinking in order that you can get your life in some form of balance. Um, you could be revisiting a situation from the past or someone from the past in some form in some way. Um, but certainly think it's about you looking at what you can agree on or going back on that's happened a few months ago in order to take it forward. Remember when we had the retrograde, nothing is solid at that point. There can be offers that can be taken away, but I kind of think that it's about more of you getting involved as we the sun hits Scorpio it's about you getting involved in what's next over the next 30 days and making it work for you um, you know what can I do what can I let go of what can I actually move myself forward with so very goal orientated Sagittarius whatever that goal is whether it's new work whether it's your home family knowing the Sagittarian field it's about a goal of making money um, highlighting media marketing putting yourself out there a little bit more um, being awarded the, the credits for the work that you've done or you're doing at the moment so pat on the back but I certainly think you're going to be presented with more finances dear Sagittarius so for a job well done if you're working for yourself you'll be paid what you're worth or maybe there's more increases around your finances it's all about goals it's all about career for you let's see what the cards hold for the week straight away um, sorry I've moved the, the webcam so I'm not quite sure where I am is the King of Pentacles so again it's about you being given money being paid your money um, money increased in some way it's all about finances you might have got to look at the weekend but it's about finances so it's about you ruling your money and your finances or being paid some more at the moment when we get to Tuesday again another lovely card Three of Pentacles work projects being paid what I'm worth properties in some way it can mean a new property but it also represents to me is your finances it's all about show me the money honey with the Sagittarian so you're going to be working like dogs bless you at the moment up until Christmas but I feel as if this is about more money coming in through work or new work situations next week Wednesday when the sun goes into Scorpio look at that again nine of pentacles couldn't wish for anything better to a degree but it's all work it's all money some of you may be doing stick to a property or maybe you're getting money off your property if you're asking me would the answer be yes even though we're going to we're in a retrograde this is very money much related for you this week Sagittarian so maybe there's money coming from a property if you've asked for a loan off your property selling a house money coming in 
new work, there's a house in the background, so you may be looking at doing something to your property or actually moving, but this is signified towards money or more money and work related issues. Thursday, let's see what happens Thursday. King of Cups. Now, if you're a female, it can mean a water sign that's important and you like. It's an offer of something or certainly an offer that comes in. It can be emotionally based. Another way that I look at this is also connected towards medical field. So for those Sagittarians, maybe you've been feeling unwell, but this is a card that signifies hospitals or medical and feeling quite emotional around it. Hopefully it's conclusion, it's wrapping things up and you feeling a lot more sorted, but it can mean a medical so you might have the dentist, you might have the doctors, it's a medical appointment or something connected towards medical maybe next week. Don't feel the outcome's bad. Right, the Queen of Cups, this is a female, a fair-haired female, generally a water sign like myself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's a female, for those males it could be an opportunity with a new female in your life. It can mean you've got a female that's helping you out some way in, on an emotional level. Um, I certainly think it's an offer of something from a female in some way. It feels very pleasant. This lady is someone that likes to help. So you might be getting an offer off a female or offer off a female friend that's wanting to help you out in some form in some way on Friday. Right, Sagittarius. Mm. We've got good and bad cards for the weekend. We've got the Five of Swords. That's conflict. That can be you feeling trapped in the situation. It can be the Ten of Cups can be trapped emotionally and that can be connected towards a relationship. So if you're feeling trapped in that relationship, it may not be for you. It can also mean that you may well be in a relationship where there's another person, maybe they're married. Um, there's a few obstacles within that, whatever's promised in some way. I'd kind of say that the Ten of Cups makes me feel as if there will be a good outcome to it, but it may well take until, again, you could be looking at April of next year. I certainly don't think you've got a bad week. I feel as if a lot of it is work and financial based, which is always good for the Sagittarian. Maybe you've just been a little bit trapped in a situation, whether it's work or your home or your house. You like freedom, you like space. Know yourself, dear Saggy. It's about working on that. Remember, the retrograde that we're in is reworking, rethinking, um, not making any hasty decisions. I kind of think by the time the retrograde's over on the 10th, then we have a shadow up until about the 24th. I feel as if think about it as an incubation period for you to think about what you want and where you're going to. Certainly during this next seven weeks with the Mars and Virgo, it's all about work and money, which is your major thing in life. So it, it can literally be of offers of new work. So I kind of think you'll be a happy bunny. Till next week, take care and Goodbye for now and please tune in to my next video scoop next week. Many thanks once again. Bye bye.